My first introduction to a cloud at that point in time was my email filtering system. It was a product called Postini. It was a, a service that would clean people's email because email was becoming the the killer app, right? Everybody mm -hmm. started with starting to use email to communicate uh, with other other businesses and e internal. And uh, not long after that, the the spammers uh, started just uh, invading, and eighty uh, yeah. percent of people's inboxes were spam. So. Um, the first, and there are companies that would buy software that would run on their servers and it would attempt to, you know, clean the, uh, the spam off of their, uh, their mail servers. And then the Postini service actually ran in a central data center. It rerouted people's emails to their servers. They would look and clean out the emails and remove all the spam and malware and then send clean, valid emails on through to the end users. And for me, that was, it was, it was phenomenal. It was a brand new approach to things. Uh, and I remember you know, going through our annual upgrade. Well, our Exchange server needed to be upgraded, our uh, file server. And, and I remember getting a big uh, quote from uh, our outsource provider to say how we are going to update, patch, get to the current version of all of our, uh, of all of our applications that were running our business. And I remember asking, well, what about this Postini? And they said, oh, you know, Postini is, uh, it's a service. You don't really ever have to worry about that. It's always updated. It's always, it's being managed on its own. And I just thought back for a moment and said, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Why am I hosting all this here when there appears to be options for me to move to the same type of technology? 